I've played Guild Wars 2 for over 20,000 hours, and I've learned a whole lot and collected just about everything in the game, so it's a perfect time to go round again. Join me in the adventures of my completely fresh account known only as the Microtransaction Enjoyer on the quest of obtaining and unlocking everything in the game, from legendary gear and mounts to living world story episodes, maps, and ultimate gem store quality of life, purely through efficient and somewhat sensible gameplay. No real money required. I thought today, you know, seeing as I am going to be chilling down a little bit on Zero to Hero to let YouTube catch up fairly shortly, um, I thought, let's go ahead and blast all the tier 3s today. I thought this is a good time to do it. You know, let's get in there, you know, unannounced, just randomly. Let's do every tier 3 fractal in the game. Right, because I want to do... The goal today, my friends, is to actually complete this achievement. This achievement is what we want to do here. Because I want to do every single fractal from 51 through to 75 in one go, if possible. It actually might not be possible, because obviously people tend to only do the dailies. And I'm not going to make my own group. I'm going to try to, as much as possible, join other groups. Reason being, I want to kind of have that complete unhinged experience. A lot of players often remark how tier 3 fractals are a bit of a mess, a bit of a wasteland, a bit of a abandon all hope, all ye who enter. Um, so I want to really delve into that and enjoy that experience. So it, it might not be possible in one day, but we'll do our best to get as much of it done as possible. It should be fun. Uh, I am playing support Firebrand, though, so how bad can it be? You know, that's all I can really say. How bad can it be? Right, done. Let's go to the fractals. Look, what I'm actually expecting from this uh, little challenge is... Okay, I'm expecting... Um, I'm expecting this to not be that bad because I'm playing support. And you might say, oh, well, you should play DPS... So you experience how it is. Well, in my opinion, actually, no. Um, and let me tell you why. Because in my opinion, if I go, oh, it's, it's not legit unless you play DPS, that's basically like saying, well, arbitrarily hold yourself back and make deliberately bad decisions so that, um, so that I can mirror the bad decisions of, what, you know, of how most people play the game. Playing DPS is actually a mistake if you just want to get the job done in any endgame PvE content in Guild Wars 2. Why? Because support is much more impactful to your success rate than playing a damage dealer. This is just a fact. Um, so, I actually don't agree with the, oh, you should play DPS. No, that's just me. That's, that's the same as saying, you should make a big mistake. Um, on purpose because everyone everyone else makes this mistake. So you should make this mistake too. No, I'm not going to make the same mistake that most players make. Simple as that. Because otherwise, what's the point? Like, what's the point in making the same mistake? And it wouldn't be that bad even if I played DPS. It would be a bit more frustrating because you don't have as much control over the group. Uh, but it wouldn't be a, a big deal either way. So, you know, what's interesting actually? I haven't done anything in tier three for a very long time so i actually i don't i don't know what to expect i don't know how hard these fractals are going to be i don't know if um you know like how long it's going to take to uh, you know maybe if we end up with two players or three players left if some players die how bad that's going to be if that's going to impact our ability to continue right if we're going to get stuck on some of the puzzles maybe i have no idea what to expect i'm ready to go yeah. I am ready to go. I mean, th I'm a little bit sad this is the first fractal of the challenge. Because this is probably my least favorite fractal. This is very, very low energy. Like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Please rework this fractal. Actually, wait, no, don't rework this fractal. That will probably delay getting a new fractal in the game. But then rework it at some point. Please. We did it. Hooray! Well done. Fractal 60 done. We actually already have three fractals done. So the reason this is because I joined a tier 2 deep stone, 67, and it was actually tier 3, 
and they just, you know, they put it in the wrong LFG. Nice. And then this 53 was actually a similar thing. I joined a, a group of racks for like tier 2 racks, and actually it was tier 3 rack. So I don't know what's, there was some confusion with the LFG, but you know, I, I didn't actually notice at the time. Um, I just played through the fractal. Classic situation there, my friends. It really is. You love to see it. Okay, wait. We go next. Wait, what are the dailies today, even? Daily fractals. Urban battleground. Chaos. Uncategorized. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I wonder if anyone's using potions. People are actually using potions here. Maybe I should use potions. I have a whole bunch of these things. I was going to save these for tier 4, maybe. Uh, because, you know, maybe even the challenge modes. Because we don't have infinite potions yet, because we don't have the Omni potion from grinding a bunch of fractals. So... I thought I'll just save them. I don't think these fractals are really hard enough to bother using consumables yet. Or not necessary anyway. Like, if you want to carry a little bit harder, you might want to use consumables. But I don't think it's really necessary at this level. Let's go! You'll never take I'm ready to game. We'll Wait, what is everyone doing? Now, this is confusing. I don't understand the game plan. Why are they all camping ranged? Ah, maybe this is the tier 3 jungle. Max range. This guy only has 63 agony resistance. I like that. You know, that could cause a few problems. Could be, cause a few issues. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> he did die very early on. So, you know, you've got to, you know, it's uh, got to watch out for that. But I like it. You know, I like the, uh, I like the confidence. Just kind of leap in there and go. We're actually kind of doing what I like to call a hybrid strategy here. I, I tend to just run in and cleave all the mobs down, but a half the group did the stacking strategy where you hide behind the statue and then lure all the mobs around. Nearly cost us our lives, but fortunately it doesn't matter. We're good to go. Yeah, bit of a weird one here, but you know, it's, uh, we're making it work. Yeah, and I actually have all the agony resistance I need to get through tier three. So that isn't a problem. In fact, I could have done it without AR, but I thought I'd actually get Ascended Gear. Uh, you know, more or less have all of my Ascended Gear in order uh, by the time I get to Tier 3. So I could go into Tier 4 as quick as I wanted to. In fact, after this, um, you know, after we get through Tier 3, doing Tier 4 dailies, oh, that is going to be juicy. That's something, something to definitely add into the routine. Tier 4 dailies plus Rex. Very nice. I think I'll probably wait a little bit before we go into challenge modes because, you know, you know we can have a nice... Uh, relaxing ramp into the content, but obviously getting into challenge modes will definitely be uh, be a really big thing. And there is going to be a point where I am just going to start making my own group because, because that's a good decision to make, right? I have been holding off on making my own group. I joined this pug group. I've been joining a lot of pugs. Um, but ultimately, you know, making your own group is still a pug. Right? That's, that's what it is. Like, if you make your own group, it's not like you magically get better players. That's simply not how it works. Um, ultimately, you know, you're still, you're still taking from the pool of players that everyone else is picking from. Um, and I will start making my own group at some point, simply because it's good. It's a good skill to learn. Learning how to make your own group, learning how to use the looking for group system and the social systems in the game is one of the most important things you can do when progressing your account. That guy's walking into the wall over there. Thanos Blightcaller, Oswald the Shadow Knight. Good account name, actually. Now, th what is going on here? How have I somehow stumbled into a group where we have double longbow max range camping rangers? Like, now, that is a little bit strange. I'm not going to lie. I, I don't know what's going on here, but uh, something is going on here. I can probably revive this berserker up, I guess. Let's go. Right, now let's see if we can finish this. I will never surrender. Well, my group is at max range, so yeah, like you may not have to. Ow, that meteor shower kind of hurts. Need to be a little bit careful about that. Okay, big explosion. The damage here isn't great. The boss is taking a long time to kill. But there we go. We got there in the end. That guy is still AFK the entire time. I like how this guy's also the only one with full pots, but he's just completely got AFK. <laughs> I was top DPS. Oh, no. Wait, yeah, I was. I was top... Wait. I was top DPS by a lot, actually. Um, yeah, we have 4K, 4K, 9K, and I'm 11K on heal firebrand. Okay. That is, um, yep, yeah, that's a thing. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Definitely know what's going on here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's, come he's gone. What happened? What? what <laughs> Where did he go? Is <laughs> you know, I don't know what's happened. You know, it's uh. He's got some aggro, IRL aggro's happened, you know? <laughs> Someone broke into his house to steal his build templates. These are all possibilities. Oh, there's a DC. Oh, yeah, I think they actually have DC'd. Yeah. Unlucky. Well, that's the end of that then, I guess. I mean, well, I mean, to be honest, then I guess it is a kick. Fair enough. Wait, canceled their vote to kick? Wait, they, d oh, oh, they're back. Hang on. I'm canceling my vote to kick. They're actually back. That's crazy. Wait, what? Someone actually left? The own. Oh, shit. Oh, but who's this? Wait, everyone's leaving. What? <laughs> Why? All right, fine. I'm abandoning this group. I'm leaving as well. I'm going to join that 65 ad infinitum because I, I need to find the weirdest fractal groups I can so that I can actually get as many fractals as possible done. So I'm going to join this weird... Oh, 51 plus. Oh, that's huge. That's even better, actually. The, I, look, I've actually gotten to a progression group. That's massive. These guys just want to do every single fractal. They're doing 51 plus. This is actually a group. Oh, core. Oh, let's go. Sick Core Warrior 66 AR, Chronomancer 60 AR. This is going to be a wild ride. This is going to be a wild ride, guys, okay? <laughs> Let's go! Wait, this is the same guy. Wait, what's he doing here? He's back. Why did he leave the other group? I don't understand. Now we have a Reaper. Okay, that's good. 150 AR. A lack DPS. Good. Reaper. Chrono. Warrior. This might be what we... We might have to break out some of the pots here, right? We might have to do a little bit of... I'm actually going to buy some food just in case. I'm not going to use it necessarily right now. But I'm going to buy some food just in case we need something that's a little bit heavy duty. So I'm going to buy healing food here so we can actually heal our team a bit more. I'm going to buy five. Uh, I'll do 25. We might as well stock up a little bit. Delicious rice balls. And I will also buy the uh, equally as powerful Bountiful Maintenance or one of the most powerful foods. These are pretty expensive. So I won't maybe go for 25. I'll maybe just do 10 of these. Uh, so three gold. And consumables can definitely seem a little bit expensive. Um... You know, when you first start buying them. But trust me, they are 100% worth it. This is 100 healing and 10% extra healing. And Bountiful Maintenance, all, the, the maths basically works out as you get like an extra 10 to 15% healing power uh, or, or percentage healing off this. So those two foods combined give you like 25% to 30% more healing um, all in, which is pretty damn wild. Again, we won't use these just yet. I'm just going to kind of save them and see if they're necessary because things could get a little bit spicy, I think, in this group. Wait, he left again. Wait, what? Fair enough. Okay, okay, right. Let's go. This is, this is, seriously, I am, I can't believe this happened. Um, I was actually expecting not to be able to find groups like this. But to be clear, what did they, what did this group in the LFG say? They said 51 plus. That means they just want to increase their fractal level. And the way you do that, if you have a low fractal level, like me, right, for example, is you just do every fractal sequentially, even if it's not on the daily rotation. So I'm actually super, super uh, fortunate to be able to find a group like this. And of course, if you want them to make a group like that, you just advertise that. And then obviously there are a lot of people who will be in the same boat as you who want to level up their fractal level too and you can end up with a group like this. This is exactly what we want to do. It's perfect stuff. You love to see it. So the thing that uh, we're noticing here on tier three is that 
We do have some extra instabilities. We have two instabilities now, as opposed to one in tier two. And of course, stuff like the ice elementals, they move a bit faster here. They were walking on tier two, but now they're kind of running a little bit. They go even faster on tier four, of course. And there are going to be additional phases sometimes. Bosses are going to have more health, do more damage, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I think it's not too bad compared to tier two. Uh, I think your know, tier four is where things really start to ramp up, particularly with the challenge modes. But, uh, you know, definitely uh, less less room for error here. Can they get that elemental? Nice. They actually did get it. That's very good. I think that's, uh, yeah, again, I'm going to save my potions too. If we get stuck or if we wipe or something, I think we'll throw in some of these potions because these potions are broken, by the way. Like, look at this one. Large Mist Potion, defensive, 25% damage reduction. You get five stacks of the defensive thing, which gives you 5% damage reduction per stack. That's ridiculous. Um, Mist uh, Mobility Potions, you just straight up get 25% movement speed all the time and 50% endurance regeneration. That is ridiculous. Absolutely insane how strong that is. And of course, the same is true with the offensive potion. We just get 15% more damage. Very, very broken. Um, so yeah, if you are having difficulty, Break out those potions. You're going to have a very good time. It's time to face the boss of Fractal 51. Let's go. Flesh Golem on the Reaper enabled. Here we go. Well, let's see how this boss goes. This one pretty easy boss, not going to lie. Not really seeing any difficulties here. I, I think all that changes, I think you have to deal with more phases on um, on tier 3, I think. So let's see what actually happens. Yeah, yeah, you can see here it's just going to phase more, so you have to deal with this more frequently. I try to heal people up. There we are. And yeah, the, the key is here is that because you get more of these phases, you've got to get rid of these effigies. These effigies have a big kind of knockback chill thing. Uh, very much like Harvest Temple Challenge Mode, actually. And of course, give the boss some uh, damage reduction stacks that you don't really want to deal with. As you can see, they're still relatively burst susceptible here. I maybe should just drop Purging Flames and take more CC because we are having a bit of trouble with that. And that's causing our players to take a lot of damage, as you can see. They're getting hit very hard here. Which is not ideal. We should be able to rally that player. Oh, that guy's just fully dead. Oh, yeah, I think that's a player that doesn't have a lot of agony resistance. So they are going to die when they get hit by some of these attacks. Not to worry, though. I think we're still okay. Yeah, we definitely need to get a bit more CC. Okay, actually, with the Flesh Golem activated this time. So we got away with it. Right, we're just going to play a little more defensively. Nice, done. Well, that... Didn't seem too bad. We got there in the end. We got there in the end. We love to see it. Very nice. Very nice. Ooh. And there we go. Yeah. And again, I'm just tracking. I'm using this little eye here to track this achievement because my goal is to do all of these uh, in one go. So 52. I, I've already done 53, but we'll double up and do a 53 anyway. Um, because why not? These players need the fractal level and we will deliver them the fractal level. What does Fractal Level uh, do for you? It essentially allows you to open um, higher level fractals and ultimately access different areas of the LFG. So you can't actually look at tier four fractal groups until you have a high enough fractal level. Specifically, I think you need to have a fractal level of 70 before you can see the tier four fractal looking for group. And obviously, tier four fractals are the most rewarding and therefore the most desirable. So, uh, you know, fractal level essentially allows you to access that content and gives you the ability to make your own groups easier. Which is exactly, you know, that, that's good. That's a good time. You want that. So here we are on, um, it's going to be volcanic fractal. And this one, again, pretty easy. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, again, the, the final boss can be a little bit scary, but... We'll just be playing pretty defensively, using a lot of uh, using a lot of defensive abilities, all that kind of stuff, to hopefully not die. I wonder if people do the skip. I'm, I'm almost like too scared to do the skip because I'm gonna die, and then they're gonna call me bad. They're gonna flame me. They're gonna flame me for being trash. We have a fairly interesting composition here as well. We have a spellbreaker, a warrior, a chronomancer, and a reaper. Interesting. There we are. We actually successfully made it. Here we go. Big. 
Look at that, guys. Expert gamer. Expert gamer. Oh, this guy's trying to follow me. I like that. The tier three learners. The tier three learning gamers. There it is. Very good. Oh, the bad news is that everyone's going normally, so they don't, they don't know. <laughs> well, this is a waste of a skip, I guess. They're like, whoa, how do these guys get here? How do they, oh, how do they do that? <laughs> Let's go. All right, then. So, yeah, I'm not really foreseeing too much trouble with this guy. Let's see what happens, though. Can, you know, there could be some DPS here. I could see there being, uh, you know, a lot of, you know, ooh. Honestly, I kind of would have liked to save that bubble for one of these, um, one of these ad phases, actually. Standing in the, uh, you know, standing in the, uh, the flux bomb. That's good. It's a good start. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, let's break through this shield here. And reflect up here. There we go. Good. The problem is I won't be able to reflect every time, which is where things can get a little bit questionable. I think there's going to be a lot of rally warring going on here. Just rally off those slimes. Okay, good. Don't get hit by that. Now, one of our players, they're gone. They're dead. Have I spoken too soon? Are we about to get wrecked by the legendary imbued shaman? I think that could be, that might be possible. <laughs> Here we go. Let's get the heal. The slimes are up. I maybe should have taken additional reflects here, to be honest. Okay. Because we've got to get rid of these things now. The immobilized can lock you in those AoEs, which can be very problematic. I think I'm about to die here. I think I actually do survive. We can get the empower off there. I need to move out of that AoE. There we are. We get our big heal tome up pretty soon, so I think we're actually pretty fine. That player is now fully dead. We need to save our big cooldowns for this final 25% though. Here it comes. Here we go. See, this is where we could really use one of those spell breaker bubbles, you see. That would be really nice. Oh, we need to actually get out of this. We need to break the immobilizer. There we are. This is bad. This is really bad. Can we actually break through that? The slimes are up. The entire squad is dead. That's not good. That's a pretty uh, that's a pretty bad time. It's just me and the Spellbreaker left over. Can we make that happen? Let's see if we can. I feel confident. I do feel confident in our ability here. The Spellbreaker did the skip. That means the Spellbreaker and me, we're, you know, we're gamers. Wait, did the, did the Chrono Revive Orb? The Chrono Revive Orb? That's a Giga Chad play. Okay, now I'm actually going to tip my hat. That's respect. Okay, I've got to respect that, guys. Chrono activates the Revive Orb. Really putting in work for the team here. We've got to keep this uh, warrior alive, though. We've got to break that shield. The shield has been broken. That means all we've got to do is kill the boss now. Chrono at max range, so they get zero healing. Even more of a Giga Chad play, actually. I like that. Personally, I actually prefer that. They're actually asserting that they do not need healing. And do not want it either. They are too good at the game for that. Okay. Good. Will they revive orb again? That's the question. Now, I think... I do believe that th at least two of these players died because they didn't have agony resistance. And that is fair enough. I'm not going to criticize them for that. Um, I don't... I think that's fine. But there it is. We did it. Uh... <laughs> Uh, yeah. Wow. I wasn't expecting that to be, uh, that hairy. But then again, yeah, I, I do believe that these two players both got completely destroyed. Uh, because there's quite a lot of agony on this fight. Some of those red kind of firestorm attacks apply agony. And it's gonna literally one-shot these guys, right? They, they will die in one tick. So I don't think we can really give them too much of a hard time for dying there. Uh, that is definitely gonna happen. The Reaper, not sure what happened to this guy. Probably just, like, the slugs got him, but not too bad. A good, exciting fractal there, though. I like that. I like the revival orb. 
Yeah, end boss. This is one of those really weird ones where it's actually very random. Well, it's a coin flip because there are two bosses at the end of this fractal. You either have the ice elemental or the, you know, dredge mining suit. The mining suit is significantly easier than the ice elemental. The ice elemental is kind of a destroyer of worlds. I can certainly see players um, getting hard stuck on the ice elemental. And obviously the DPS requirement, or rather the damage requirement, is going to be significantly higher this time around as well on tier 3. So it's going to take a, a lot more a lot more time to bust through the health. And our damage, I don't think, is very good. So it could be an issue. It could indeed be an issue. Ah, oh no, ah. <laughs> ah, it is the ice elemental. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Do they want to kill all of them? Or are we going to skip them? Usually you just run past all these guys, but they may want to kill them. All right. All right. The ice elemental it is, gamers. Yes. Look, this guy's actually scared. He's like, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> he knows he's been here before. This guy's 100% <laughs> been here before. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay. Oh, we actually did land it. That's good. That's a good start. This attack here is telegraphed horribly. See that shit? Don't be anywhere near those lines. It will fuck you up. Yeah. Okay. This is a good start. Yeah, that also. This is really bad. You can get one shot by that. Don't touch that red stuff. What a tr oh, we have aggroed a lot of those elementals, which really isn't ideal, is it? Don't touch that ice field. Obviously, it's also got a lot of agony on it. Gonna heal this guy. There we are. Big. It's being lured correctly. It actually doesn't look too bad. These ice elementals, they're starting to pile up a little. Let's try and control some of them. Let's get rid of some of these. Because, of course, these do spawn periodically as well. So, that's another complication that you have to deal with. Uh, I'll go up. No one's up there right now, and I need to go and drop the... Mm. This is maybe bad, because I won't be able to heal. But we do need to melt the boss. Is it in position? It's not yet. It needs to move a little bit more, I think. Can just heal. I should be able to heal them, actually. I think Empower will get them from here. Oh, I guess not. Oh, let's go. That should do it. Oh, oh. Let's go. I'm going to pull these mobs in, and then we can try and rally this guy. He's not really resable in that position, but he's definitely rallyable. Nice. We actually got the rally. I'm going full defense mode here. Going to get a reflect for the projectiles and the ice elementals. Need to just heal as much as possible. I'm gonna spam some Aegis. There we are, nice. That was actually surprisingly easy. Two fractal spoons. I'm being rewarded for my efforts here. Nice. So there it is. Very good. Another fractal locked in. Yeah. Oh, I think this plays this is actually I love this. This player is totally new to tier three. Look, he's never seen this instability before. Because right now we have the misconvergence. Um, thing where you just get like random bosses and NPCs from other fractals showing up and this guy's like what is the moss man doing here? <laughs> he this is this is so good He doesn't know I think Maybe I should explain the action key. I think I will I am going to explain how to use the action key um, because this boss can get weird, uh, or the final boss rather can get weird because you're you're up on the ceiling, right? And you have to use those tiles. Um, those tiles disappear sometimes, but you can use your action key to make a tile not disappear. And what you can do is you can just chain uh, everyone together, and then you can basically do it permanently, so you don't have to move. It's a bit cheesy, honestly. I'm not a big fan of it. I don't think they should have even added that to the game, but you can do that. Uh, so I might explain how to do that when we get there. All right. Okay, we can chain this together so we don't have to move. Clean burn, clean damage. So, I use first. Uh, put a number, one through five, and we use in that order. One. This has a low probability of success. Two! Two! Three! Five! 
<laughs> well, I guess that means we're all trusting the Reaper to be number four. Oh, wait, no, not the Reaper. The Core Warrior. I like that. Let's roll. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> this is going to be such a fucking clusterfuck, dude. I love it. Like. <laughs> I think two used a bit early, but that's fine. I'm going to sanctuary that. Do we have a number three being used? Oh, yeah. That number three was not used. Okay. Unfortunate. Un oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I think I could still solo it, though. I think it should be fine. 25%. All oh, right. Thank you, Ellen Kill. Ellen Kill to the rescue. I wonder how much DPS Ellen Kill does. But this kind of does go to what I was saying a little bit earlier. If you do find yourself in hell, and by the way, this is one of the reasons why I'm soloing this. If you go, oh, I'm in tier three hell, just remember that most of these fractals are soloable. There are some of them that I guess need more than one player to solve a puzzle sometimes, but always remember that these fractals can be done solo. So if you're ever stuck, yeah, just log into the fractal and do it on your own. That was a little bit spooky. Could he, he, wait, he revivalled again. This is my favorite player ever, right? Okay, change of plan. This guy's living. N run that way. This guy, I'm not letting him die. He uses action key. That's big. Don't think it was a very good... No, not over there. Don't run over there, dude. No! Ha wait, can I get there? No, he's dead. Wait, I'm going to try and rescue him. Run! Okay. I think we got him. Yes! Ray the Defiant spot? Right, we go for the burst here. I have my action key. No, I'm gonna play safe. We can't- we can't die now. This is not the time for us to die. CC it. There we go, we got it. Right. Come, Chrono. Destiny awaits. Destiny has been secured. Done. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> the, the double revival. This guy is dedicated. He is dedicated to getting his frat level up. And honestly, I respect it. I'm all about that. Nice. Good job, team. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, very good. Very, very good. Okay, next. Oh, <laughs> Swamp Fractal. Will we get past the initial puzzle? That's a good question. Keep it up, team. We are making excellent progress. <laughs> oh, no, don't leave. No, don't go. No, no, no. Bl wait. Black Snake Militia, but spell incorrectly. No. What, is the, what are they doing? What's going on? Ah, oh, I could use this time to sell some stuff. That's a good point, actually. That's some good advice, actually. We could do that. Because the inventory is starting to get a little messed up. Swamp, though, I'm not super worried. I'm not feeling scared. Maybe I'm going to live to regret those words, but... Well, it might take us a few tries to do the puzzle. The puzzle can definitely be a little tricky. But I think we can make it through the puzzle. And then the boss will be fine. The boss won't be a problem. Right. Let's start this clown fiesta. Okay. Now, again, you, in some ways, you could almost, like, re-roll the spawns here to get an easier spawn of where the wisps are. But, well, eh, not a great one, to be perfectly honest. But I guess we'll have a go. What are they all doing over there, huddled by the Mislock Singularity? The Chrono is already dead. They may need more revive orbs. Can that still hit me there? If I climb here, maybe it can't. Ready. 30 seconds to do this. I'm going to wait until they start it, because this one's the furthest one away. Well, I guess we're about the same. Okay, this player is ready. Three. Oh, the Reaper's counting us down. Two. One. 
Go. All right, let's go. Oh, I, I feel like I have, like, the baby path. Look how easy my path is. <laughs> I'm an epic gamer. Go, 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 go. 15 seconds. I'm going to wait and see if they're going to make it. They are not going to make it. I'll go over here, maybe. Three. I thought they could have made it. All right. This is where I'm having a mesmer. Oh, we have, we have a mesmer. Uh, Chrono, you can put portal and portal people here. So place a portal at the trees here um, and port them in. Easy. Oh, look, Chrono, not only is he the revive orb god, also has the portal ability. Oh, oh they placed the portal. We've got, we've got to go. The portal's already up. Like, oh, no. Okay, three, two, one, go. Okay, is he going to portal from here? Is that in range? Do it, do it, do it. Oh, let's go. The, look at the power of talking with other human beings. Look at that. Through the power of my keyboard, we have conquered this puzzle. Okay. Fractal 56 done. I'm just going to keep up the keep up the fractal grind and kind of hope Oh, I have oh, I, it was, oh yeah, my armor is reinforced actually. And kind of hope that they get into a type of like trance and they just forget that they have responsibilities in real life and we're just going to keep going. Because this was actually the perfect group for me and I really don't want to let it go. Uh, this is exactly what I was looking for on this challenge and I don't want to uh yeah, I don't want to lose that. But you can see, look, 2.8k healing. Without that food, guys, those heals were around 2,000. Like a little bit over 2,000, I believe. So we've actually gained a huge amount of healing by using that food. Really increasing our output. And that can really make the difference. When you're getting into more challenging content, having these consumables is a huge deal. If this guy knows the skip, does he? there's no way he knows the skip. Oh, wait, just, wait GG's actually. Okay. I guess that's to get out of combat. Uh, looks like we're doing stack strat here. I can see them going towards the statue, so I will actually just conform to that because that's going to make things easier. Uh, in general, even if even if you know a tactic that you personally think is better or you know to be superior, uh, picking a strategy and everyone working together is typically going to work out. Um, typically going to work out better. So it's more important to be on the same page than having the optimal strategy. Although, having said that, I do like how, as I say that, the Reaper ran in like a full Giga Chad and died. There we go. Nice. Nice. And there it is. We have officially uh, got 10 tier 3s done, including our weird ones that we did. And yeah, we are Fractal 59, then Fractal 60. You can see the progression will continue. We're, you know, we're, we're putting in some good work here. It's actually quite fair. Oh, someone actually dropped the scented food. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. One last I'll be gone. No. No, the Chrono's leaving. This is the best player, though. Oh, well, it's okay. We can bring in another player. I bet it was the Mesmer. I bet I bet it was the Mesmer. This is the kind of player who would drop the food. Now we have even better food, because Ascended Food even has more stats, right? You'll notice that our Rice Balls give 100 healing power and 10% outgoing healing. This Ascended Food not only gives us better rewards, and we get XP, Magic Find Gold, and World XP, and Karma, but we also get an extra 70 concentration on top of that, so we get even more boon duration, which is lovely. Okay, so the Giga Chad is going to bed. The Mesmer is out. That means we are going to have to replace someone, but that's okay. We shouldn't have too much of a problem there. Okay, good, good. Uh, I think they... Wait, do they just not know where to go? They're all following me. Wait, what? <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> what an experience. This is why I've got to get back into, like, training raids again. Like, this is just so... It's such good content. So here we'll do the, the jump skip thing. It's over here, isn't it? I'm learning the ways, the new tactics that people have come up with. I think this is the right one, right? Ah, oh, yeah, you go here, and then you go here, and then you go up. How about that? 
I may actually help them with that. Let's see if they know how to do it. I guess in tier three, people are probably pretty familiar with it. Yeah, you can see that they, the players know vaguely what to do, I think, or what, what I want them to do. Yep, we are making it. That's good. Yep, yep. Uh-huh, okay, that's enough anyway, we can just go. We can just go. Yeah, there's quite a lot of agony on this fractal, so I do believe that, unfortunately, our dear friend the Chronomancer may have to use a lot of revive orbs here because it is very easy to get agony on this fractal. So I am not really predicting a high survival rate for our warrior and Chronomancer. I can definitely, I can see the Spellbreaker and the Reaper surviving, but yeah, as you can see, the Chrono kind of got deleted there a little bit. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, I never die. I never die, guys. Get a reflect up. There's a bunch of projectiles. There we go. Easy block. Nice. Where is everyone, by the way? Further, there aren't that many people attacking this Sandbinder. Attack the Sandbinder, guys. What the hell's going on? I guess this is okay. All right, we've arrived. Now, the, the Chrono is already dead. I will try to save them, actually. Oh, that's a mower, though. Need to dodge that. Ooh. Right, we're playing very defensively here. Because we are not super stable currently. Wait, no, no. This is the real one, guys. This one, this one. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to kill every single one. I think I'm actually playing too defensively. I think we need to play more aggressively. Because I'm really going all out trying to keep everyone alive. But I'm not actually sure if that's the play that we want to make here. I think we just got to kill this. We've got to get through these phases, right? The longer this goes on, it is, it's not going to be good. We do not want this to go on for very long. Ah, Spellbreaker is nicer too. I was like, oh yeah, all these boons. But oh wait, yeah, we have fucking Spellbreaker too. We're immune to boons. So yeah, that's more like it, right? You can see that, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. See, see, see? That's much better. Big damage. There's an achievement here for jumping over the shockwave like three times in a row, but the boss never has enough time to actually use the shockwave, which is a little bit unfortunate. Oh, yeah. I did expect that attack to win because it applies agony uh, and also is a bit spammy too, so that has unfortunately ended our poor, uh, poor friends there. Yeesh. Okay, so this is going to be a trio from here on out. Tier three. Th and look, I, again, you know, I'm like, oh yeah, it's going to be, uh, you know, an epic, an epic trio. The Chrono Revive Orbs again. He's going to die again now. Uh, oh no, he's dodging the agony. Oh, he almost dodged the agony. Yeah. Wait, I, I want to res him. I'm going to get you. It's not over. Four revive orbs. Okay. Tie. Wait, the warrior. Wait. Oh no. The, oh no. It's determined. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Yeah, yeah. They had this thing. Yeah, between phase you have like a checkpoint, don't you? So you actually authors. I thought he revive orb too, but no, it wasn't a revive orb. Oh no! no. Oh, I'm trying to keep everyone alive. It's difficult. It's not easy. Okay. Now we got a CC. Have to use the taunt here, I think. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Easy. I actually don't even know what happens if you fail that. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe she does the shockwave and you get hit. Not actually sure. Okay, good. Easy game, easy game. Yeah. Okay, guys, this is my plan, by the way. The Chrono is leaving after this. And I, what if I say, how about one more? Oh, it's Solid Ocean. I wouldn't send anyone to that fate. Who would want to do another Solid Ocean? I wouldn't want to do another Solid Ocean. Maybe one more, though. Maybe one more. And then I just keep saying one more. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. 5% health? Think that's enough to beat us, Amala? Please. No way. Got him. We did it. We did it, team. 
Nice. How about uh, one more? Next one is free. Um, Jade Tentacle. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, look. Got him. There it is. He's like, oh, yeah, Jade Tentacle is really easy. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Jade Tentacle is a very easy fractal. <laughs> His wallet card. Oh. Oh. Ah. Right. We're in trouble here. Okay, hang on. We need to do a thing. H hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, stop, stop. The chrono needs to go to boss first and portal the warrior across. You get agony while jumping to the end, but not if you are the first player. I think that's true anyway. So, this needs to happen. Mesmer places portal. Mesmer goes to boss. Mesmer opens portal, taking warrior through so everyone can make it. Big. That's what we've got to do. Otherwise, both the Chrono and the Warrior can't participate. Um, uh, close, uh, close to the, uh, close to the end. Okay, I will, uh, I will uh, show. I'm not, I'm not sure. I actually don't know. I'm not going like guys. I'm kind of winging this. I actually, I don't know how this works. Um, <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll do our best. Because I'm not totally sure how to pull this off. It might not even work. But we're going to try. Because I'd be a little bit sad if they weren't able to play. You know, they've been doing so well. They've been pumping hard, actually. And I, you know, I think, you know, I'd be very, very sad if the poor old warrior wasn't able to actually play. Because unfortunately, there is a bit of unavoidable AR. I'm not a big fan of that. I'm not a fan of unavoidable agony resistance. But it is what it is. Okay, I think if we do it from here, okay, can try from here. Warrior? No. God damn it. I think the warrior might have just trolled us a little bit. Uh, but let's see. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, we have a portal, and then the chrono makes the. Oh no, they got agony! Oh, they made it, they made it, they made it! Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, there we go. And then they portal, and then we're in. Let's go. And then we revive. It, they're full dead. Doesn't matter. They're full dead. Doesn't matter. Wait. They didn't take the portal. Okay, the other guy took the portal. It's fine. Now we just res here. Easy. Well, that didn't exactly work out, but that'll do. Easy. Right. Okay, and then we res the warrior. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. I take it, I take it, I take it. Do what you want to do. Uh, you did it right, I think. I think we um, moved too far too soon. Activated it. Or maybe I'm insane. Could very easily uh, be that. Yeah. The reason I did it that way, guys, is, um, is apparently someone told me that you can... If you're the first person to, like, activate the boss, you don't get agony. That might be pure bullshit, though. Now I'm thinking that it might be. And this is why you should never trust strangers on the internet. Because they might completely lie to you. Well, or maybe unintentional. Yeah. But you know what? It was a fun exercise. You know, now we have improved our group coordination skills by doing a completely unhinged strategy. This is bad, though, actually. I am dying. We need to kill some of these mobs. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, great. I got the laser. It's fine. I'm, I'm just going to eat this. They just res me. They need to actually res me, though. We need to get a crystal ASAP. Windrider Slayer. Nice. 
Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Got one. Dodge the tentacle swipe. I have the laser. That's actually good. I am actually not going to use it. Um, I'm going to keep this here uh, until we stabilize. I'm just going to drop it because th things are pretty unstable currently. So I don't want to actually dr uh, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Okay. I don't want to start using these resources until we've stabilized, which is getting, we're getting there. We're going to get a bit of a pile of crystals and then we'll start using them. Okay. Oh, no. Will they make it? Oh, that's unfortunate. Get the res. There we go. Good. Big. The pile of crystals is growing. Very nice. Okay, I think we can start now. Yeah, we can definitely start. I'm going to grab this one. Oh, the warrior is dead. Can we retrieve the warrior? I think we should be able to. There's a lot of downtime on this fractal. I'm just going to start the revival process. Get back up. This is a pretty good run, though. Ten fractals done with one group. This is starting to feel a lot more possible. We'll just have to get another pug. That's not a problem, though. I imagine we'll be able to get someone pretty quickly. In general, the more full your group is, the faster it fills. Almost paradoxically to an extent. But it's because players are like, oh, this group is nearly full. I should join so we can get going as quick as possible. Makes sense if you think about it. But yeah, you want to... Having a full group is a big advantage on the LFG. Well, yeah, I think the agony is still causing a few problems. Which is a little sad. That is okay, though. This is probably not a very fun experience for our newer players here. I will try to revive them again, though. Okay. We're getting there. We're nearly done. I'm going to keep grabbing more crystals. Boom. I'm beginning this revive again. Yeah, the warrior is having a bad time. I think, wait, did the Chrono Revive Orb or were they just alive? I like this. <laughs> this guy is just covered in Revive Orbs. Good. A few tentacles, let's get rid of those. That does actually progress the event, so we want to get rid of those as much as we can. I'm just going to go for this one. The gamers are already on that one. More tentacles are up. Let's get rid of this one. It's almost already dead to Condes. This is dead to Condes. Nice. We're basically done. Hooray! We did it. Fractal level 61. Okay, I'm just going to start the next fractal and see if he's forgotten that he wants to go to bed. Oh! oh aquatic ruins. Let's go! Oh, no. They haven't forgotten that they've got to go. I respect that. Okay. I respect That's acceptable. I think I'll stop. No, no, they're both out. Oh, to be fair, yeah, I should have picked another fractal. I should have skipped it. We should have gone straight to aquatic or something. Um, because I bet they didn't have fun, right? That was a shitty fractal, right? They were like, whoa, that was lame. Um, maybe I should. Because that is when they were going to be like, I need to get more AR, right? You know what I mean? Oh, the warrior's out too. Oh, that's just so sad. Well, maybe it's not that sad. I think they had a good time. Good job. Good job, team. Very nice. Okay, uh, let's find more and continue. Easy. We get 75 today. Big pog, big grind, big blast, big juice. Me, this reaper, and the spellbreaker, we're going far. We are going far today. <laughs> 